Hello reality viewers, welcome back again to Reality Latest Gist, the home of news and politics. For this channel, we they drop news every day and we they react to every video where it comes our way. And our reality news now we they drop for this channel and we they also they talk um, as it be. If today now the first time we say they come across this channel, you are highly welcome. Thank you so much for stopping by. And if you are returning subscribers, I appreciate all of you now for now massive support to this channel. I say may God bless all of you now in Jesus name. Amen. I get video away I want to present to Una this very moment and I go to follow now. They watch the video. After we don't watch them together, make we drop our opinion constructively for the comment section. Like our videos and also share our videos if possible. Bye for now. Modern consensus movement again retreated their stand to stand against any southern president come 2023. As the governors in the south oppose open grazing, which is livelihood of Fulanese in the north. Addressing pressmen in Abuja today, the president of the group, Comrade Awar, said Nigerians are not happy with, the, with what southern governors are doing. He said the northerners will not accept to vote anyone that is not from the north in 2023 with the arrangement of opposing open grazing. Completely refuse to adhere to the provision that the president is trying to make just because they have an innermost plan. They have a plan, they have uh, a thinking, they have a, 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 a motive that they are trying to execute. That is the reason why they decided to refuse to comply with that. And in any case, this is a political situation. We are in a political government and under a political dispensation, uh, the voice of the people is the voice of government. Government has no authority on its own. Whoever become a governor, a president, a senator, a member of House of Reps, a member of State House of Assembly, or a local government chairman is doing that on the neck of Nigerians. Now, Nigerians are not happy with what these governors are doing. Even within the state that they reside, the people that they think are the members or the citizens or indigents of those states that they think they are, are truly not happy with this because we have received several complaints, even from the Yorubas themselves, that their governors are doing what they are doing. And again, like I said, we are under a political dispensation. And these same people are saying that they needed power in 2023. I wonder how we, the northerners, will accept to vote anybody that is not a northerner in 2023 with this kind of arrangement that is going on, that openly, even though you, even as at this time that you are not in government, you are already indicating that you cannot unite the country. You are already doing, uh, you are already segregating against Nigerians. You are already pre um, depriving some Nigerians from their means of livelihood. Now that you have not been given the opportunity to lead Nigeria, you are already doing this. Then what more if we decide to accept that we will support any candidate from the South or a southern part of Nigeria, it means the north will be gone. I think this is also a better and stronger basis within which we will continue to clamor and call on our people to know that they cannot and should not and should never and we will not allow through the bylaw box anybody that will not unite this country to be the next president of Nigeria in 2023 because automatically you have indicated that you cannot hold this country together. If you are given the opportunity to lead, you are only going to divide because what you are doing now is a method of division. It's an indirect dividing the country because where you deprive me of my means of livelihood and what else do you expect me to do? What else? And we are talking of crime, crime and criminality. And we are trying to see to it that crime and criminality is reduced to the barest minimum. The government at the center is doing everything humanly possible to ensure that crime and criminality across the federation is being reduced to the barest minimum. But by this act, you are indirectly instigating violence. You are indirectly instigating, uh, instigating chaos. You are indirectly, uh, you know, expressing that you are not willing to continue to, uh, you know, to harbor other Nigerians from the other part uh, of the country that are resident in you. And I've said it before, I'm going to repeat it again. In, the, in Kano and Kaduna alone, 
you have more than 19 million, I mean, in the entire northern Nigeria, you have more than 19 million uh, Yorubas resident in the entire, in the 19 northern state. And not only resident, these guys own personal property, land, farmlands, houses, and shops, and what have you. And we live with these people peacefully. We try as much as we can to protect them, to protect their lives, to protect their properties. Why is it that the properties and the lives of our own people that are resident in your own state is not being protected, is not being guided? That is not to say that we don't know what we are doing. We are not fools. We also have feelings the way you have feelings. We think the way you think. We can act the way you act. But we have been trying as much as we can to restrain our people from taking the laws into their hands. And by what you are doing, you are instigating violence. So we are saying that the southern governors should go back and have a rethink of this their policy. We don't have problem with their policy for as long as they are going to provide an alternative for our people that are resident there, most especially with this grazing issue. If they are going to provide alternative for the Fulanese, provide, build uh, grazing reserves for them. And then let them go into the grazing reserve and be paying you uh, on, on meritorium or even if it is rent on a monthly basis. But you are passing a law that says you do not want to see a single cow moving on the street. You do not want to see a single cow moving on the street and you do not provide an alternative for them. For God's sake, how will they feed those animals? How? How will they be able to feed these animals? And you keep on arresting these animals and also charging fees arresting, charging, and collecting fees from the full animals that are innocently, innocently trying to find a way of uh, uh, put, putting ends uh, together. We are saying no to this. And we are also meant to understand a lot of these charges that were being given, there's even no receipt for the charges. You only charge them, and at the end of the day, they leave, uh, you leave, uh, uh, arrest their cows, and then charge them exorbitantly before releasing the cows, and the next three days you come back and re-arrest again, it, this is not the best way of revenue generation. If you want to generate revenue, you should do build ranches. After building the ranches, then you can enact your law, then push the Fulanis into the ranch. Those that refuse to obey those laws, now we now know that they deliberately refuse to obey the laws, and we are law abiding citizens, northerners. Our law abiding, we are Nigerians, we believe in Nigeria, we respect the laws of Nigeria. We will never break the law, we will never support breaking the law of the Federation, but you should also not instigate breaking the law, because what you are doing, you are instigating violence indirectly. With this, I will rest my case. Gentlemen of the press, if you have any question, I'm here to answer. That is the stand of... That's not just the group, we speak for Northern Nigeria. This is... The stand of northern Nigeria, the stand of northern Nigeria in 2023 is that the north still have a balance of four years and will continue. Uh, we will make sure that we balance up our four years before moving power. We were even beginning to think that we can consider our brothers because politics is all about number. We have the numbers. We have the numbers. We have the voting strength. And you cannot become a president when you don't have the majority of vote. We have the majority of vote. We were willing to give that majority of vote to other part of Nigerians that we feel will harmonize, unite, and move the country forward. But we understand by this act now, it is clear to us that it is good that we are standing on our position. It is good that we, we are still insisting that the North will continue until after, 20, uh, after 2023, until after four years, then we can now come into roundtable and begin to negotiate. By the act of the governors of the South, uh, uh, southwestern state, it is clear that they cannot, if any of them or anybody from that part come, becomes a president, he cannot unite this country. He will not unite this country. He will not work towards the general and national interests of Nigeria. And we, the Northerners, are known to be fair in judgment. We are fair in thinking and we're fair in leadership. And that was why today, if you go, you find that the, most of the infrastructural development that has taken place under the present northern leadership is done in the southwestern part of Nigeria and the southeastern part, with a very little of it taking place in the northern part of Nigeria. Even with that, the southerners and the easterners are still complaining of marginalization and what have you. And then if you give it, this act has indicated that if given the opportunity, then we are going to be slaves in our own country. For this, 
We are insisting that the North will continue to hold on to power. We have the vote. Whoever that needed to be a president should go and contest under a political party and then let his credibility sell him and let the votes count. Let the vote decide who becomes the next Nigeria's president.